this video I will try to explain the difference between interpreter and compiler. So these concepts are not related to the JavaScript language as such, but I will try to explain this in the context of JavaScript. So let's get started. So at the top we have got this interpreter, like the steps that the interpreter will take to interpret the code. So what happens in the interpreter is that there is a source code, for example a JavaScript file. It takes that JavaScript file, then it will parse it, it will create the abstract syntax tree and then it will convert that source code into the byte code at runtime. So this is very important, at runtime everything is happening. So that's what happens in the interpreter case. Let us see what happens in the compilation uh, process. So in the compilation process also it is the same thing that is happening. It takes the source code, parses it, creates the abstract syntax stream. The only difference is that here the compilation is happening. So when the compilation is happens, what happens is that source code will be converted into the compiled code or we can also call it as a machine code. Okay. So when the machine code is ready, next time when we want to execute that particular code, we don't have to go to the source code. We can directly take that machine code that we had already compiled and then we can execute execute that particular code. So the main benefit that we are getting uh, in the compilation process is that the execution speed is very faster. Like every time we are running it, we are not uh, looking at the source code. We are directly executing from the uh, machine code that was pre-compiled. But in case of interpreter, what will happen is that let us say we want to execute a particular JavaScript program. It will go to the source code every time. Okay, That is the main difference between interpretation and compilation. Every time interpreter will go to the source code create this parsing, then create this abstract syntax stream, and then create this bytecode. So all these steps it has to take every time, single damn time, every damn time interpreter has to follow these steps. But in case of compilation, these steps are one time, okay? So once, once you compile that particular source code, it, once it is ready in the machine code format, next time you want to execute it, it goes to the machine code, it gets executed. That's it. There is no parsing. There is no AC, ASC. There is abstract uh, syntax deformation. So all these steps are not happening every time. Okay, and that's the reason why compiler is very faster. If you talk about the V8 engine that is used in the Chrome browser, what they do is that they use both combination of this interpretation as well as compilation. In the interpreter, they call it as the ignition interpreter. They have given specific name to that interpreter that is called as ignition interpreter. And for the compilation, they are they are using this compiler, which is called as turbo fan. Now you will ask like why they are using the combination of interpreter as well as compilation. So there are pros and cons. So interpreter is very useful in the cases where the JavaScript execution is not happening quite frequently. Okay, in one of scenarios, if some JavaScript you want to execute, then it is not it doesn't make any sense to compile that particular source code. Because compilation process or converting it into the machine code, doing the optimization it is it is an expensive operation. Okay, you need to have the processing power, memory power to do that all the all those things, and that's why interpreter is uh, useful in those situations where we are not executing the code quite frequently. But if you talk about the compilation, compilation compilation is not good in those scenarios where we are executing the uh, code very frequently. But as I said earlier, the main drawback of using the interpreter is that every time it is going to the source code and doing this parsing, forming this EST and then converting it into the bytecode and then that gets executed. So every time this thing is happening in this whole entire process. But uh, when the JavaScript uh, we want to execute is, is uh, like the frequency of that execution is very high. In that uh, scenario, it doesn't make uh, sense to do the source code conversion into the bytecode parsing. So all these steps are useless. Like uh, you don't have to do these steps every time. So what we can do is that we can take the source code, we can convert the source code into the machine code just one time and the next time whenever that execution is happening, we can go to the machine code and then execute it. So the main benefit that we'll get here is that the execution will be very, very fast. I think that clear your concept about the compilation as well as the interpretation. If you have still more questions or still you have doubts on this, let me know through the comments. Thank you for watching.